All right, guys, so here's the situation. My neighbor came over to me saying that they're going to go on a vacation, but they bought way too much milk, and they asked me if I want it. So I said, yep, sure, I'll take it. But then I started to realize, what am I going to do with all this milk? And that's when I remembered legendary tight end Rob Gronkowski talking about how he bulks up for a season. Watch this clip here. A smoothie, show you what type of smoothie it is, what I'm throwing into it. I need to replenish. I need to keep the weight on. I cannot become too thin. That is not good. I'm in the NFL. I need to block defenders. I need to put that weight back on. Guys, in this video, I'm going to drink two gallons of milk in one week and see how much muscle I can gain. Let's get it. I also remembered bodybuilders too used to drink a lot of milk. So I did research and as you can see here, the diet is called the GOMAD diet. I wonder why. And it says in the highlighted part that they would drink a gallon of milk every day until they reach their goal weight. I'm not going to be doing that, but this is feasible. So let's take a look at the actual milk here. I'm trying to do three, but as you'll see, it might not happen. So here we can actually see the nutritional value of the milk and it has the fat, it has some of the sugar, it has a lot of the protein that you need for building muscle as well as a lot of vitamins, vitamin D, calcium, iron, and potassium. So milk is really incredible. So this actually makes sense and it's gonna work. Yeah, so let's not let this milk go to waste. And you know, thank you cows. Uh, Jeff, please stop licking his ear. Guys, I'm not gonna let you down. All that hard work won't be for nothing. So the plan is gonna be, I'm gonna work out twice a day once in the morning, once in the evening, afternoon, and then have a shake with kind of a lot of milk in it afterwards. And hopefully I'll drink it all and build a lot of muscle. And I need some way to measure my progress. So I'm going to step on the scale before and after, and then also just show what some of my, you know, biceps, how big it got and just my chest. So let's get it. Damn. Damn boy. Damn boy. He's thick. Yes, I'm a little surprised I weighed in at 190, but it is what it is. Thought I was around the 180. You know, here I'm measuring my bicep. I know it's not the best way to do it, but I don't have the tape. So it looks like I'm right around five, five and a half. I just want to show what it looks like when I'm flexing my bicep too, so we can get a nice after. Yeah, here I'm just showing my stomach and chest. I love how people in some of the before videos always look like they're three months pregnant, but then after one week they have abs. So we'll be showing that. And then for my workouts, I worked out twice a day and I wanted to target all parts of my body. So I did some abs, I did some bicep triceps, I did push-ups for the chest, and then I just did some squats, right? I have some dumbbells. I don't have a lot of equipment, but you don't need a lot of equipment. And this really was done in just 10, 15 minutes. And the most important thing and advice I have here is when you're doing these workouts, I did it until I couldn't lift anymore or I like, it was really hard. And that's, that's the whole point of working out is you should get to that point where you have to push through it getting hard because that's how you build muscle. Afterwards, I would have a shake with all the ingredients you see here. So I just add some hazelnuts. I just love hazelnuts. They have some good protein. Kobe would not be happy with my shooting ability right there. You have to add milk. Milk's the most important part. So I'd try to add at least half or like one glass because you know you have a lot of milk to go through. Then I'm just adding in that protein powder. So when you're building muscle, you just want to add protein as much as possible. Then I add bananas. Bananas just taste good. You know, potassium, good for your heart. So I just add in a full banana there. And then finally, you have to add the water, right? You want to add more to it. Don't guys don't do it like this because it gets really messy all over the place, but it was fun to show. And really the best part about doing this challenge was learning that when I worked out the second time, it was like having a second win throughout the day. And I just felt more motivated. I had more energy. I was more focused and it didn't take much. It's just 10 or 15 minutes. So every time I did this, I felt so much more productive throughout the day. So I really encourage you guys to give it a try. Oh, hey, great morning, guys. It's day six. Uh, I feel a little bit bloated today because I had to drink a lot of milk last night, but day six and we have a problem. So the good news is one of the two gallon things is gone. The bad news, I have not touched the second one. And what that means is I've pretty much been drinking way too slowly the whole time. I haven't felt bloated because just drinking it three times a day, like about a glass, actually a little, I'm putting a little bit more into the shake wasn't nearly enough. So man, so for the next two days, I'm going to have to drink this two gallon <laughs> milk and it's going to be crazy, but yeah, I know I can do it.
Well guys, I fell behind on drinking the milk, so now I'm gonna be doing at least half a glass every hour, you know, hoping to finish it all, and what I don't <laughs> tonight, I'm just gonna have to chug it. <sighs> all right, it's been another few hours. Cheers. Ooh, we're doing it again. My body says no, gotta drink it. Ah, turning into a cow. Well, guys, I'm at the, the very end here, the very bottom. So it feels good. So we're just going to finish it off. Oh, it's so cold. Oh, it's chugging. Dude, respect to people who can do a freaking entire gallon every day. Because this is not easy. So we're almost there. Here we go. Holy crap, it's so cold. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Yeah, this was a tough challenge. I'm glad we got to the end. Whew, last little bit. Here we go. Oh my god. I'm getting brain freeze from drinking milk. <laughs> oh my god. Here we go. Last bit. Mm. Yes. I completed the challenge. Jesus, this was crazy. Whew. So here are the after results. I stepped on the scale. I knew I was heavier, but seeing like 195 was kind of surprising but honestly the best part is i felt stronger i felt like i had put on muscle and i felt good that was really an amazing part of this challenge and then i'm measuring the bicep afterwards too so it looks like i got some close to six so there's definitely improvement you know i'm just glad i, I felt stronger and better and completed it so the milk did not go to waste well guys, I just finished the challenge. I really wanted to go for <laughs> the three gallons, but it was a lot harder <laughs> than I thought. Respect to all the bodybuilders and people that can do one a day. That's just insane to me. Just drinking the very end was hard. Oh my God. But you know, thank you cows. I love you now. I know how you guys kind of feel, but do my honest thoughts of doing this challenge was even though I, I gained a little muscle, you can see kind of in the video there, I feel stronger. And when I look in the mirror, I just, I feel good. Like I, I feel more muscular and in shape because doing about two workouts a day makes a big difference. And the thing that I, I love the most and that I didn't expect to happen is whenever you work out, you feel more motivated, you feel more energetic and you feel happier. So doing the first one was great in the morning because it gave me that, that push. But when I did the second workout in the afternoon or nighttime, I also felt so great. So I had more energy and motivation to do more great things. So that was, that was really the best part of about doing this whole challenge. I discovered something cool. It's like you, you get that second win. So for that reason alone, I encourage you guys to, to, to try to work out twice a day. And the thing is, my workouts were not very long. It was like 10 or 15 minutes at most, just because I wanted to do enough where I felt like I was, you know, pushing myself and it was hard, but I didn't go completely overboard. So guys, thanks. Thanks for following along.